Since we seem to be going backwards as a people and as a society, I decided to go back today and tape this episode, number 21 of season 2, part 2 of what I did on my pandemic vacation, back to the late 1950s or early 1960s. So after we do the episode, Mrs. Cleaver is going to make me some brownies, and then I'm going to go kick Eddie Haskell's ass. Trump is pulling out of the WHO mid-pandemic, so look for his buddy Vince McMahon to start the rival XWHO as soon as it locks down a local access basic cable deal. The Ayn Rand Institute accepted Big Brother's COVID stimulus handout? So maybe she should have named one of her books Atlas Schnored, or Atlas Busked, or Atlas Panhandled. And the other one, The Fountainhead of Freebies, because socialism aside, who doesn't like freebies? After not opting out of the 2020 season, even though he could with full pay, Major League Baseball umpire Joe West said, I don't believe that all these deaths are from COVID. Yeah, we're going to have to appeal that to the booth for review. And not to go all Pete Rose here, but I got a thousand bucks that says Wes doesn't check to see if the hitters chew banned tobacco or use too much pine tar on their bats or that the pitchers knowingly or inadvertently use the wrong rosin bag on their balls or their ball bags. Schools must open this fall. If I were still in school, I'd be cool with it opening under one condition. Trump has to be the substitute teacher, and we get to unmercifully rip on him with no ramifications and nothing placed in our permanent records. Erasers, spitwads, noogies, swirlies, no holds barred. We can't even think of a word that rhymes. Show of small hands. Oh, they're not so small. Who thinks on November 4th, that Melania will file for divorce before she files her nails, or for asylum in Slovenia. CNN's Bakari Sellers slammed Rick Santorum for claiming slavery and abortion were the same thing. Here's the difference. While I'd never consider enslaving Rick Santorum, I'd definitely consider my options and mull over I wanted to teach that little prick how to throw a baseball after taking him to Cub Scout meetings. According to Dr. Anthony Fauci, we are still knee-deep in the first wave of the coronavirus. Yeah, and we're gizzard-deep in heartlessness, schnoz-deep in political rhetoric, and top-of-the-melon-deep in shit for brains. Donald Trump Jr. graced us with, Trump is really running against the media, Silicon Valley, the establishment, the swamp of Hollywood, and maybe Joe Biden. You know... The Trump name moving forward is going to end up being persona non grata like Capone, Gotti, McCarthy, Nixon, Palin, Milk and Madoff, Manson, and Epstein. Maybe his son should get a jump start on the rest of his life and change his name to Donald Shitpile Jr. Hashtag ban it, ban it, dude looks like he's tainted. Oh, and by the way, say what you will about Milk and Madoff, Manson, and Epstein, they're finally live at the Fillmore? Fucking awesome. The job report proves all Americans win in my economy. Black Americans, Hispanic Americans, Asian Americans, see my knees, look at these. How about dead Americans? Deceased Americans? Americans no longer with us? Formerly living Americans? Americans that have not only come before us, but that have left the building before us? The socially distanced by a funeral director Americans? and the Americans that fought and died for us to be the stupid fuckest Americans in the history of American Americans. Sounding like Madeleine Kahn as Lily von Stupp in Blazing Saddles, but with no hint of irony, a friend of mine recently tweeted, I'm tired of the stupidity, tired of the fights, tired of the conspiracies, tired of the insanity. Face it, I'm tired. Now imagine being me and feeling the exact same way with only slightly less testosterone and slightly more estrogen due to the 
fucking soy lattes.